All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yabashai, Baha Kodash Rakah. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to your hopefully elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother, not by Ayasha, the Jim and Cindy Annapolis camp. Come with another episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with the fact that what? We know our strength and help come from who? Yahweh Bashim Yabashai. That's why these other Israelite groups can't get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Because why? They don't believe in the, in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yabashai. They lean into their own understanding or they, they lean in for comfort and strength and help from who? Esau, the so-called white man. But we know all our power and strength Comes from who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We know our understanding, our knowledge, wisdom, understanding of these deep dark sayings of His Word comes from where? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh See what I'm saying? The Spirit and power of our Heavenly Father and our Big Brother Yahweh Shai. You see what I'm saying? We don't rely on this white man. We don't rely on no other false god out there, no idol, or no other religion or doctrine or, or ideology. We rely on who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh so this is Psalms chapter 121. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Meaning what? We look to the skies, to the heavens. You see what I'm saying? To who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashai. Because they up there what? Sitting on their thrones. It says, uh, My help cometh from the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashai, which made heaven and earth. That's right. Because Buddha didn't make heaven and earth. Allah didn't make heaven and earth. Uh, uh, Lady Shiva didn't make heaven and earth. Isis, Seth, Horus, Osiris, uh, they didn't make heaven and earth. Lady Diana, uh, Astaroth or Astarte didn't make heaven and earth. See what I'm saying? Satan didn't make heaven and earth. Only who? Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. That's what we look for for our help, man. Anytime we get into trouble or adversity, who we call on? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We don't call on our brother, uh, uh, Stephen from the world. No, we call on who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We don't call on Uncle Grady down there in, uh, in uh, Arkansas or Mississippi or Alabama. No, we call on who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is Psalms 123 and 1. Unto thee lift I up mine eyes. That's right. Lift our eyes up. And what? Humbleness and, and humility and, sub, and, and uh, subjection to who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, Unto thee lift I up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Who, who dwellest in the heavens? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It said, Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters. Why? Because... Even even back in the slavery days, servants looked to their masters for what? Food, shelter, and clothing. That's who we look to is for our what? Food, shelter, and clothing. Physically and spiritually is who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Even though part of the curses like it tell us in Deuteronomy 28, that we have to go into uh, our enemies for the one of all things. But still, who provide us with money? Who provide us with, with the ability to go to our enemies to get the the things that we need. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Even on the spiritual aspect, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai provides us what a, our food, clothing, and 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 uh and 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 housing. Spiritually, you see what I'm saying? We get that from who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see what I'm saying? So it said, like a uh, behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, because why? We're servants to our master, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see what I'm saying? It said, uh, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, that's right. Even in the slavery days, you had the female slave that looked up to who? Who, who depended on help from who? Their, uh, the mistress was what? The, uh, the slave owner's wives. See what I'm saying? Because the slave owner, wives, it was in task of what? The female slave, even though the, the husband of the the husband, the, the main slave owner of the plantation, had the final say so, but still, the slaves had to obey his wife also. She was known as a mistress. See what I'm saying? It ain't like how Esau put it today a mistress is a woman you have having sex with on the side, outside of your wife. No. The mistress was talking about back then the slave owner's wives. See what I'm saying? 
It says, so our eyes wait upon the Lord, our power, until that he have mercy upon us. And when is the Lord really going to show us mercy? When he come and destroy this place and deliver us out of Babylon. Lord willing, we some of those men. That's when we're going to receive the ultimate form of mercy. Right now, we're receiving mercy through what? The grace of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. See what I'm saying? It said, uh, <coughs> it said, <coughs> It says, have mercy upon us, because that's what we're praying and begging for. Each day, man, we're alive in these bodies. Each day we breathing, seeing, thinking, hearing, speaking, smelling, tasting. We're praying that what you have by Shema Shai have mercy upon us, man. It said, have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt, meaning what? Shame. See what I'm saying? It says, our soul is, is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease. Who is that? Number one, starting out with this white man. Number two, two-thirds of our own people. They are at ease, man. They're comfortable here in Babylon. And it said we're exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease. Because why? Everybody's coming against the men of the Lord, man. These people here in, in America that feel comfortable, they're coming to the men of the Lord. See what I'm saying? They're coming against the men of the Lord. That's what I meant to say. Salakia. But they're coming against the men of the Lord. Everything we say and do, everything, every video we put up on, on YouTube, they're coming against us. Why? Because they at ease. We making them feel uncomfortable through the spirit and the power you have by Shimei Abishai. But the scripture telling you, Negro, Latino, and Native American, to rise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. See what I'm saying? Because why? It have it have dis destroyed, it, it is totally polluted, and it has destroyed you. See what I'm saying? It said, uh, our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease, and with the contempt of the proud, meaning what? The disrespect. This contempt means disres disrespect, or disobedience of what? Of the proud. Those that's proud, why? They talk against us. They, they continuously disrespecting us, calling us rapists and all this old nonsense, man. Murderers and killers. We ain't done none of those things, man. Only thing we did was what? Bring you the scriptures, man. Just like the scriptures say, they hate those. They hate them that rebuke us in the gates. See what I'm saying? We rebuking y'all where? In the cities. On the highways and byways. On the internet. You know what I'm saying? Through the unicorn. Like Apostle Tahar beautifully broke down, man. The unicorn, which is what? This internet, the world wide web. See what I'm saying? That one horn, that one power. The Lord set this up for us to put the word out there. Now the gospel's been preached in all the nations. Now you see what's going on. Prophecies are taking place right before your face, man. Play, uh, places around the world are experiencing sinkholes, like here in America and abroad. Massive wildfires. Volcanoes, earthquakes. You see what I'm saying? What else? Death, murder, robbery. See what I'm saying? Now you're getting nuclear bomb threats in Hawaii. Pretty soon it's going to come to the mainland of America. Those are just the shores, the islands of America. See what I'm saying? It's going to be another Pearl Harbor situation down there in Hawaii, man. See what I'm saying? The government attacked it back then. It's going to attack it again. The whole, the whole United States is going to be another Pearl Harbor. See what I'm saying? Another, uh, what is it, uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki? See what I'm saying? Fat man, little boy, it's going to be another situation, man. Here in America. You see what I'm saying? The Lord is not playing, man. He's bringing utter destruction to America. See what I'm saying? That's that's why we have to what? Keep our eyes toward the heavens, man. To, toward the skies. Toward Jehovah by Shimei Washai, which cometh our help, man, which gives us strength. That's who we look to. That's who we pray to. For what? Strength in our body. Strength in our mind. See what I'm saying? Because we can't make it out here alone, man, on our own. There's no way possible, man. This white more, this this white man, <laughs> said this white boy, this white man destroying us on every side, man. Our help got to come from Yahweh by Shimei Shai. We got to keep looking toward the skies to Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai for our salvation, our redemption, man. That's where our help come from, is Yahweh by Shimei Shai. And we're going to continue calling on that name of Yahweh by Shimei Shai until our last dying breath.
or in, until we get beamed up on a chair. We're going to continuously call in that name. See what I'm saying? Because once we get on the chair, we're going to be crying, man. <laughs> we still going to be calling on you how about Shimei our shot, but we're going to be shedding tears of joy that the Lord delivered us out of this hell hold on as what? Babylon. See what I'm saying? So you people out there, your help comes from who? Yeah, how about Shimei our shot? Keep your eyes to the hills, man, to the skies. See what I'm saying? Keep depending on the Lord like a slave had to depend on his master, man. Because we're what? Slaves to Yahweh by Shimei our shot. So we got to keep looking to him for our health and our strength. For help. See what I'm saying? To help us through these trouble, troubling times. Through these dying times. We we, we got to look to him to, to help us uh, weather the storm that's coming, man. See what I'm saying? So you people out there, you better get it right, man. Before you have by Shimei our shot destroy you, man. With that, Abad Baba. Abad Idumia. Wa. Ayyabib Nawa. Hey, uh, uh, Shalom.